In this video, I'll show you how to create a note-taking tracker in Notion step-by-step. -step. You will learn how to create a note-taking database, set up a simple automation, create custom tags and filters, and build an aesthetic note-taking dashboard. I've also included a free version of this note tracker. You can find the download link in the description box below. Let's get started. In your Notion workspace, create a new page and name it Note Taking Tracker. Open the page settings and maximize the width to get more space for your layout. Add a three column layout to divide the page into left, middle, and right sections. Adjust the column sizes a little to get a balanced layout. In the left column, Insert a callout block and enter your section title. Use the left column for a navigation. You can add shortcut pages here so you can quickly jump to other parts of your workspace. Now duplicate this section and drag it into the middle column. Enter the title for this section. Below the callout, add an inline database and name it Note List. Use the name column to enter the title of each node. Add a date property to track when each node was added. Add a text property and label it Description. Here you can include a short preview of what the note is about. Add a status property to track your note's progress. You can identify whether a note is a new item, editing, in review, or completed. And feel free to add the labels and colors of this tags to match your workflow. Add a select property and name it Types of Notes. I'm going to add a few drop-down options which contains various note types. This is useful for organizing your notes by note types. Add another select property for Projects. List out your project names here in the drop-down options so you can organize your notes under the right project. Then add a multi-select property and label it custom tags. For example, specific themes or topics. You can add as many tags as you want since a note can have multiple tags. For cover photo, you can add a files and media property. This lets you upload a cover image so you can quickly identify a node by its picture. Now add two checkbox properties, one name pin to mark notes you find useful, another checkbox for archive to mark notes you no longer use. This step is optional, but if you use my Ultimate Life Planner template, you can link your note tracker to the rest of your live tracking system. For example, when I open this specific node, you'll see it's connected to a live area tag called Investing. Here you can instantly see everything linked to that live area, like completion progress, goal setting, events, task lists, safe bookmarks, related notes, and even reading materials that can support your life goals. This is how the template connects everything in one place so you can focus on getting things done and not wasting time searching. I will also include my Ultimate Life Planner template in the description box below. Meanwhile, let's continue building the note tracker step by step. Next, we're going to turn your table database into a visual driven layout. In your note list database, click Add a new view and select Board option. You can display the note content in preview or turn off the card preview. Adjust the card size of the note item. Choose to hide or display the page icon. In the group settings, organize your board by types of notes. This segments your notes into categories you have defined. Drag the group up or down to rearrange the order of your categories. In the property visibility settings, Choose which information to display on each card. For example, description, status, date, or a checkbox. You can also create a board view to view your notes by status. 
duplicate the board view, name it as status. Then change the group option by status. And now we're going to add a new view for the gallery display. Customize the card display and choose your preferred card size. Go to the property visibility setting to show the relevant contacts. Customize the group settings to segment your notes by relevant projects. And now you have a functional note-taking system that lets you manage all your notes in one place. Let's move on to the right side of the page layout. Add a button element, rename it to New Note and choose an icon you like. In this case, you want to trigger a new note to be added to the database whenever the button is clicked. Add it a property. Select the date added option. We want to record the actual latest date when you add the note. The next step, we want to open the page added in the center pop-up right after a new note is created. Click done to save the button. Now let's test it out. Before we do that, we're going to add a new section called new items. Copy the view of your table database and paste the link view in this section. Customize the layout settings to display the cover image and adjust the card sizes. In the property display setting, select the information you want to show on the card. Next, apply a filter to show only notes items with the status mark as new item. Now add a new note using the button. Enter the title and content. Close the panel. And there you go, a new item has been added by using a simple button automation. You can also add a featured section for favorite items. Copy the link database view and paste it here. Then go to the filter settings. Delete the status filter. Add a filter for showing notes with the checkbox set to pin. Open the property display and choose to show the pin checkbox. Let's uncheck the box to see what happens. You will now get a sync database and any changes you make here will automatically update in the main database. For the rest of the layout, you can create a section to organize your notes by custom tags. I'm going to copy the table database and paste the link view in this section. Select the board view, customize the cover image, and adjust the size of the card. Add it to property display here, then group your items by custom tags. Now you have a note tracker that is searchable based on custom tags. If you like this note taking template, you can download for free using the link in the description box below. Continue to watch my other videos to level up your Notion skills.